Hello everyone, this is Greg Larson and I'd like to welcome you to another Siler Quick Tip. Today's tip is Trimble X7 and SX10 Wi-Fi Management. There are a lot of Wi-Fi specifications available out on the internet and in various publications. Uh, but the rule of thumb for a lot of these specs is speed decreases as range increases, obstacles decrease range and speed, the 2.4 GHz frequency is susceptible to interference, and the 5 GHz frequency has far higher speeds. Because these are the two main frequencies that Trimble devices use right now, and you can see the kind of the comparison there on the on the uh, 802.11n spec. You can see that the 5 gigahertz band has a far higher speed than 2.4 gigahertz, but you can see that the 2.4 gigahertz that the SX10 would use has a lot longer range. The various Trimble Wi-Fi devices that we're using uh, for scanning now. Uh, the data collectors are all Windows 10. Uh, you can see that they have most of the, the uh, frequency protocols available to them in both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. The instruments, uh, where we see a difference here is the SX10 only has the 2.4 gigahertz band. The X7 has both the 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band. And the one thing that I want to point out is it has the AC band or spec there. And that is the highest data transfer rate that we can use. So we need to kind of, when we're using these devices, we need to manage them. We need to manage the Wi-Fi on them. So what does this mean? With the SX10, we need to manage the interference in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And the X7, we definitely want to get it to run in that 5 gigahertz band. And to do that, we can use a Wi-Fi analyzer. They are available on the Windows Store, the one that I using today was created by Matt Hafner. I think it's one of the first ones options that comes up in the Windows Store. Uh, these can be installed right on the Windows 10 data collectors, so the T7, TSE7, T10. And if you want to, there are ones available through the Android Store or for your phone. I'm not sure if iPhone has them, but they probably do. Uh, but I do like using the Wi-Fi analyzer on the X on the TSE 7 or T10 itself because we're using that chipset that is actually interfacing with the SX10 and X7. So let's take a look at the Wi-Fi analyzer for the X7. This uh, particular X7 today is running kind of slow. Uh, it's on 2.4 gigahertz channel 1 and if what we can do is open up the Wi-Fi manager and take a look at why it's not running that fast. It gives us information here and we go to analyze and it's telling us we're on 2.4 gigahertz and if we click the 2.4 gigahertz tab we can see that we have a lot of interference here. It's competing with all these devices so that's not good. What we can do if you're not sure what to set it at, set it to auto and apply. And the X7 is going to adjust its settings to probably the best uh, channel that it, it, it finds. So let's see what happens here. And if we go here, it tells us it went to 5 gigahertz in channel 36. And if we click on our Wi-Fi management, uh, it does tell us we're on 5 gigahertz, channel 36. That's good to see. If we go to the Analyze tool, we can see that the X7 is gone. Uh, the X7 is on 5 gigahertz. So if we click the 5 gigahertz tab, we can see that the X7 is now in a fairly interference-free environment. There's not a lot of interference here, and that is a good thing. And just work better overall. So if you want it to stay on 5 gigahertz, you've got all that. And we can apply it. And that's what I recommend. 5 gigahertz in auto. So now we're going to use the Wi-Fi analyzer with the SX10. One of the questions we get the most is, what is my, my SX10? in Wi-Fi mode and you can look at the the blinking light on the side of the 
of the instrument. But honestly, the easiest way is to go into the Wi-Fi analyzer, go to the 2.4 gigahertz, and see if your SX10 is sitting there. And there it is, Trimble SX10 304-11434. That's the SX10 I have turned on right now. So I can go in and go into Trimble Access. So now we're connected to the SX10. Again, turn on the Wi-Fi analyzer. Let's go back to it. Let's take a look at the if we have some what channel we're on for the SX10. It's on channel 11 right now. What I want to do is switch it to a different channel. So what we can do is go into the main menu, go to instrument, go to instrument settings, and you see Wi-Fi down here. Now you do have to have a fairly new firmware version. Uh, I think it's one of the last couple revisions. So what you do is you go into Wi-Fi, so right, you can see it's on channel 11. Oh, we don't want that. Let's change it to channel 1. If we're not quite sure what we can do, again, turn on the, hit the Windows key on the keyboard of the TSC7. Or if you got a T10, you know, make sure you can get into the Windows menu. And before we change that channel, let's go into Analyze. And again, channel 11, 4, 6 is good. We have 1, 6, and 11. Let's switch it to channel 1. There's nothing down on that end of the Wi-Fi spectrum here. So channel 1, I hit OK or accept. Now we're going to get a outage here, and it's going to reconnect. It's going to disconnect. Uh, it's right back up, channel 1. We're going to accept that. And again, I'll hit the Windows key. And go into the Wi-Fi analyzer. The reason why I'm going in and out of the Wi-Fi analyzer is that it takes a little while to refresh and if you just go in and out of it it refreshes a lot quicker otherwise you're sitting there wondering where your, your why, why your SX10 network is still on channel 11 but now there we can see it's on channel 1 we shouldn't have much interference we should get a lot better data transfer uh, I think we're gonna stay connected longer uh, so that's how to manage your Wi-Fi with the SX10 in the channel selection. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at SilerGeo.com and be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.